What is going on with that leg? Oh my gosh, that looks so painful. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Vampires. Belle is currently bursting at the seams. Take a look at that. Oh my gosh. The baby is ready to come out at any moment. It's actually crazy. We are getting ready for the new arrival to the family. Also, I have changed the way that Edward looks because I just couldn't get it right. Like, I couldn't make him look nice, but I managed to do it in some spare time of mine. So this is what he looks like now. Ignore the very sad face, but I tried to make him look as normal as possible because for some reason he just looked really strange. I mean, he doesn't look the best right now, but it's the best that we can do. But he's pretty cute. I like him. He's got like bright blue eyes and he's feeling pretty hungry. He's also needing to do some dance. He actually invited his friend Hugo over, so maybe he could test his first little bit of vampire skill out on his friend. Maybe asking permission to drink from him. I don't know how good of friends they are. Oh, they're not really that much of good friends, so I don't know how this is gonna work out. He's probably gonna say no. Yep, no. Keep those fangs away from me. Oh well, I guess we're gonna have to go and just drink his plasma. Just compel for a deep drink. I'm very, very sorry, but we're gonna have to do this, Hugo. Oh, wow. As you can see, Edward has turned into his dark form. I didn't make him do that. He's just actually attacking his friend without me telling him to drink uncontrollably. And when he actually transforms into his vampire side, he looks so much like Caleb, it's crazy. Look at him. But he actually has Belle's bright pink vampire eyes. So he's like the perfect mix of them both. What is going on with that leg? Oh my gosh, that looks so painful. <laughs> It's all twisted. But yeah, he's gonna take a drink of his friend. We should probably get rid of that one that I told him to do, but here we go. He's definitely a vampire. Just, you know, sucking all of his friend's plasma out his neck. And then he's gonna go for a dance. Fair enough. It's actually pretty gross and disturbing looking at this. Oh wow. Hopefully Hugo doesn't stop hanging out with us. And back to his normal self he is. And he doesn't care, he's just just going to dance away. Dance away all this sadness. Ivy is back from work. She's just stood stood out there in the sun punishing herself for having such a bad day. So she should probably go and take a bath and probably just go to sleep because she ain't feeling too good. She's also thinking about her boyfriend. She wants to be funny with Brad but we're gonna send her to bed because she's tired. And then Caleb's out here. He's hungry too but the good thing about Caleb is he has a load of plasma packs that he can drink. I love how ever since we got this radio, everybody just stands in front of it and dances. It's like they're addicted to it. This is just such a weird sight. What are they doing? It's so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. So vampires don't age, do they? They never age, which is crazy. Belle has been alive for 79 days. And how long has Caleb been alive? 80 days. Oh, he isn't that much older. Oh, Hugo, get off our PC. You, you can't just come to our house and then just go on our PC. That we need for work. Get out of here, boy. Because Caleb needs to do some programming. So let's do some freelance work. Bye, Hugo. It's really late at night. You should probably leave now. Bye, boy. He understands. Goodbye. And I feel like Belle has just completed a book. Oh, yeah, you go, girl. Look how proud she is. She's so confident. Let's get her writing another one. A motivational book about how to be the best vampire. Let's do it. I'm actually going to call it that as well. How to be... The best vampire. This is a confident book. <laughs> She's gonna write that. Oh, what's wrong with you, Edward? Oh, he just went from sad to happy up and down the stairs. What is going on? He should probably do his homework. Where is his homework? Oh, it's at the table. How convenient. I was a little unsure about choosing a freelancer to do such an important job, but you delivered. Oh, so I guess Caleb has finished his freelance work. Now we're starting to get a little bit of money in. Yay. Let's go ahead and do some more programming. Make another mobile app this time. And we honestly don't really have much room in our house for all the kids that we have. We have one coffin up here where the adults can sleep. I guess they don't really sleep that often. Then we have a bedroom in here, which is the adult's bedroom. We have Ivy's bedroom in here, and then we have Edward's room, which is still for a baby. I think we're gonna just keep this as a baby's room because it is like so much easier to just keep it as a kid's room. I don't think we really need to change it around. Let's just not have Edward have a bedroom right now. He can just sleep in the coffin if he wants. Let's send Edward to go to sleep. 
I feel like this is the first time he's been in a coffin. I don't think he's been in one before, so this might be a really weird experience for him. Here we go. Oh, he's in his panties. There we go, he's laying down. Yeah, I feel like he really suits being a vampire. <laughs> okay, we really, really need to do everybody's aspirations. So we need to become the master vampire. Survive an additional 20 days of being a vampire. Easy, we can do that. Read the vampire tome, the ultimate tome. Can we buy that online? Is this where we could get that? Oh, we need to finish number two first. Have we not read that? Let's have a look. We should probably order that. Belle has read that it's possible for vampires to be cured. Oh my. Ooh. Belle has learned that plasma fruit has some interesting uses in recipes. She can now prepare plasma fruit salad and the plasma Jane drink. How do you make that? That sounds really cool. Do we have to go to the fridge? and cook maybe? I don't know. Oh, plasma fruit salad. Where's this drink? Maybe that's at the bar? I don't know. Can we make the salad? That'd be really cool. If we could make like a giant serving of that. I'm not sure if vampires can eat it or not, but let's have a look. If they can, that'd be so cool. So it just looks like a normal salad. I wonder if they can eat this. Not entirely sure, but I guess they can try to eat it. Okay, we're gonna test it on Belle. Can we eat this mysterious salad? Okay, she sat down. Let's look. Oh, I don't think she likes it. Do you not like it, Belle? Is it disgusting? Oh yeah, nauseated. Yep, they can't eat this. Even though it's made from plasma fruit, they still can't eat it, so we gotta get rid of it. I thought I'd finally found some food that we could actually eat. We can spend some more of Belle's points, so let's go and have a look at what we can get. Oh, what are these? Influence emotion? We can make Sims feel a specific way. Mist form? Beyond the herd? We can get rid of our human-like things, like needing to socialize so we can focus on becoming the best vampire. We can also have tamed first. We will never drink from other sims on our own. Or immortal pleasures. We don't need to have fun. I don't know what's the best here. I think we should be able to influence someone's emotions. That sounds really fun. And then we have to take two weaknesses. Oh no. Eternal sadness. Belle will sometimes get really, really sad. Well, that's her anyway, right? She's a vampire, she is sad, let's choose that. And then, day phobia. Even when she's not in direct sunlight, she still knows the sun is there, just waiting for her to step outside. In all honesty, Belle doesn't really like being a vampire. She's just happy with her life right now because she has Caleb, but I don't think she actually likes being a vampire. And if she could cure it one day, she would definitely do that. But we're gonna have to look if we can do that and how we can do that because I think that would be really interesting if in this series we changed one of our vampire sims into a human. That'd be so cool. Ooh, duty call. The world is a never-ending cesspool of grime and crime and it's time for Ivy to take a big bite of it. Sounds gross. Care to join them? Let's go. So here we are with Ivy at work. She should get inside before she burns. Go inside, girl. Get a case assignment. Oh, so interesting being at work. Okay, we need to go to this desk. Let's get a case assignment. Oh, she misses her home already. She's just got here and she's already wanting to go home. That's so cute. Okay, here we go. Assist with a crime scene investigation. You need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the crime scene. Oh my gosh. Travel to the crime scene? And we need to find a map. Why is there just a ghost here? It's River Simmer. He's come to report a crime. So we need to go to the map? Where's the map? I don't I don't know what we're doing. I've never been here before. Oh, here it is. Travel to the crime scene. At a crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect. Investigate damaged or stolen objects and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also talk with witnesses to get a report about what happened. Okay. Well, we're gonna burn unless we get inside. So let's go inside and search for some clues. Is there a ghost in here? I can definitely hear a ghost. It's a ghost upstairs. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that ghost in bed? Oh, it's River Simmer. Maybe she was murdered. There's also... Lily Jolene? Oh, this is creepy. Okay, let's take a witness report from River. Also, I like how there's just a police officer in here just on the computer. Casual. Okay, let's get a witness report. Let's take some pictures. 
Now let's get some evidence. How do we take pictures of the crime scene? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we gotta help her look for clues. This is much more difficult than I anticipated. Okay, I don't think there's anything down here. What about in the kitchen? Oh, a shoe. Collect. Oh wait, let's take a photo of it and then let's collect it. Oh yeah, let's take this evidence. We need to look for more clues. Let's go upstairs. About in here, what is this? I believe this may be some evidence. Let's go take a photo of it. Graffiti on the floor here not look natural. Okay, anything else that we can see about in the bedroom? Oh, another shoe. Take photos of it. There are so many ghosts in here. What is going on? Did a lot of people get murdered? I don't know. All right, we need to find some more clues. Oh, there's something there. What is it? Is it hair? I don't know. It's kind of gross. Okay, there's one more and this is actually kind of difficult. Oh, we found it. It's another shoe. There are a lot of shoes. So let's collect the evidence and then we need to go back inside because we're burning alive right now. And let's return to the police station, I believe. A vampire cop is honestly one of the coolest things. Now that you've gathered evidence from the crime scene, time to start tracking down a suspect. Use the chemical analyzer and computer to evaluate the evidence you found at the crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover some information about who committed the crime. Okay, we need to go inside. Go on our PC. I like how we don't have an office of our own. Oh no, we need to use this first to analyze the evidence. We are getting really hungry right now. Okay, wait, there's another ghost coming in? What the heck? Why is there so many ghosts here? Who is this? Paige Summer. There's just so many dead people in this town. Ooh, nice work. Analyzing the evidence from the crime scene allows you to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. For now, use a computer to file the crime scene evidence so that the senior detective can take over. Okay, well, let's go find a PC that's free. I don't believe there is one. <laughs> no, what are we gonna do? Everyone's on the PCs. What are we gonna do? Is there any upstairs maybe? Nope. Okay, there's no PCs. We we can't do it. That's really awkward. Oh wait, this one's free. Quick! Let's use it! File the crime scene evidence! Why has everyone come to watch us? Good work! The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in charge of the case. Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow you'll learn about the next steps in the case. For now, Take some time to help process criminals here at the station. Ooh, we get to take mug shots of people. That's awesome. Let's do it over here then. Take a mug shot of Anya Joyson. Come on, you filthy crook. Let's get your mug shot taken. Oh, here we go. I've never seen this before, so this is all new to me. I really like this. I want to go to work more often. It's so fun. Let's also search her. And we need to get her fingerprints. I don't know how we do that. Oh, there we go, fingerprint. Have you got anything on you that may be suspicious? Oh gosh, we're running out of time. It's terrible. No, we didn't get to do it. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is, what's happening here? What is going on? <laughs> what is this? I just don't know. Select a branch for Caleb. Oh, does he get to do different things in his career? Startup entrepreneur. Turn your big ideas into household names at Startup Genius. Oh, we should do this. You get a giant TV, whereas if you do the gaming one, motion sense game map, but he's not a gamer. He's like into his business, so we're gonna go for this one. And then it's the end of our shift here. We didn't complete everything in time, so we're just gonna leave work, but I hope that was enough to help us get a promotion in the future. Oh, so we're back home now. Honestly, I'm loving the idea of having a vampire detective in the family, that is so cool. So yeah, Caleb has been promoted and now he like owns a company, I guess. It's like his own company, that is so cool. I cannot actually believe that Belle hasn't had the baby yet. Where's the baby, Belle? Okay, what does Caleb need to do for work now? More programming. All he ever does is program his life away. Poor guy. We still don't have enough to pay the bills. Let's invite our boyfriend over. Oh yeah, Brad, where are you at? Brad Rivers will be right over. Oh yeah, you will. But yeah guys, I think this is actually where I'm gonna leave today's episode of The Sims 4 Vampires. We went to work with Ivy and it was so fun. And any moment this baby is gonna drop with Belle, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Both of the children have actually come out looking incredibly different. So I'm really excited for the third baby. 
Also, let me know if you guys like the idea of trying to turn one of our sims back into a human. I think that's a cool idea, but I don't know about you guys. But I hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, do make sure to leave a like. And oh my gosh, she's just gone into labor, and I'm leaving this on a cliffhanger.